pandemic, West Michigan will be playing a key role in both the production and distribution of the vaccine. Ox 17's Marisa Overly is live at the Pfizer plant in Portage tonight with what we know so far. Marisa? Yeah, Janice, West Michigan is really leading the way in these vaccine efforts. Pfizer expects trucks with the first shipment of its COVID-19 vaccine to leave the plant here in Portage tomorrow morning. From there, they will most likely head north to Grand Rapids, where they would uh, then be shipped out across the country from the airport there. Local leaders and doctors eager about the role West Michigan is playing in ending this pandemic. Final preparations underway in West Michigan, the area playing a key role in the country's fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Saturday, Pfizer announced the first doses of its coronavirus vaccine will most likely leave its Portage facility Sunday morning. It's very excited. It's long anticipated. It is definitely hope for all of humanity. The city's mayor, Patricia Randall, appreciative of the citizens playing their part. It isn't just the employees at Pfizer that we're proud of. We're proud of the teachers that that are teaching the Pfizer children. We are proud of the restaurants that are having to go meals. We are grateful to the families that have family members working at Pfizer during the holiday season. Once the doses leave Portage, they're expected to head north to Grand Rapids. The Gerald R. Ford International Airport explaining it's ready to serve as a national and international gateway for distribution after preparing to do so for the last month. You know, our effort right now is just working with the carriers right to understand what is that operating environment like for them. The airport lists its 10,000 foot runway, dedicated cargo facility and needed ground support as reasons why it's qualified to handle the job. Officials could not confirm if vaccines would fly out Sunday, explaining it depends on the shipment's ability to meet safety, security and storage standards earlier in the distribution process. Ford Airport is a hub for FedEx and UPS, the two carriers who will deliver the vaccines. It's personal for us. This is an opportunity uh, you know, for our airline partners, uh, their staff to be uh, a hero. Uh, for the globe, right, for, for all citizens. And, and to be a part of that, that line of heroes of doctors and nurses and scientists and all those people that we've been celebrating. After being shipped out, they'll end up in hospitals like Spectrum Health. Healthcare workers with direct COVID patient care responsibilities will be the first there to get vaccinated. Spectrum setting up clinics, even completing a few dry runs, according to one doctor. There certainly is, I think, a sense of, yes, now I can feel more protected. Um, and that that we know that that this level of patient burden, that this level of disease in our intensive care units, these levels of admissions for respiratory failure, that this isn't going to continue indefinitely, right? That we are going to get the upper hand on this and that we will be able to get this pandemic under control. Now, we do expect that first shipment of the vaccines to leave the plant here in Portage around 645, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Fox 17 will have a crew here in Portage as well as one at the Ford Airport up in Grand Rapids, keeping you updated on the latest all morning long. I'm reporting live in Grand Rapids, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.